Wow! Engines! And what's that? A giant tin can? It's an electric motor. Let's go and see it. But where's Sam? Late. Too bad. We'll go without him. We're in the design office where Saffron develops its Ingenuse electric motors. Oh, I found you. I tried to wash my duvet, but the motor on my washing machine didn't really like it. But duvets are huge. Well, your machine's motor isn't powerful enough, Sam. Ah, electric motors are everywhere. For real, in elevators, cars, trains, and now even powering small aircraft. That's right, Bess. Seriously? And it's already flying. It's Saffron's Ingenious 100 motor. And like all electric motors, it works on the principle of electromagnetism. I know! It's electricity and magnets! That's right, Bess. Look, you take a magnet, that's your rotor, and to make it turn, well, it's simple. You place it into a magnetic field using the other U-shaped magnet here, and it turns accordingly. Wow, it's moving. Okay, Elliot, but it's not turning anymore. Well, yeah, Bess. To create a continuous movement, we use electromagnetism. Coils carrying an electric current produce a magnetic field all the way around our rotor, and by providing an alternating current, our rotor starts to move and never stops. It's really turning now. It's magic. Oh, okay, cool. But if there are motors like that everywhere, why ain't all airplanes already electric? Because of the weight of the batteries! Yes, that's one of the challenges. For example, a small electric car only needs a 550-pound, 50-kilowatt battery. While an airliner needs 10 to 20 megawatts, so 400 times more! Mm, so you need super powerful batteries, then? Yes, it requires real expertise in managing electric power. That's why, for now, we're looking at small aircraft. The advantage of a motor like the Ingenuse 100 is that Safran has designed a smart and plug-and-play engine. Look, they've integrated the power and control electronics right on the motor. And it's an ultralight and compact motor with an unrivaled power-to-weight ratio. It's a real technological achievement, and even more, electric is super reliable. But honestly, all these motors going to power all aircraft? Today, the Ingenious 100 motor can already fly a two-seater aircraft for 150 miles. And it's just the beginning. Ingenious motors range from 50 to 750 kilowatts. Larger airplanes will need batteries with better specific energy, meaning lighter and more powerful. They're also in hydrate propulsion aircraft. Mm, am I right in thinking that's one or two electric turbo generators combined with a thermal engine? Well done, Jade. And engine manufacturers are also working on the electric hybridization of turbojets to assist them during certain flight phases. And it reduces fuel consumption. And it'll also work for vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. But which way is your head if you're taking off vertically? The right way up, Sam. And for all that, you need expertise across the whole chain. Motor, batteries, distribution, and electrical harnesses. And with their ultra-modern motors, can Saffron do something about my broken washing machine? Mm, I'm not sure that's a fit, but we can always drop you off at a laundromat. <laughs>